Hello friends and good morning to one and all present here. A very warm welcome to our buddy ma'am, respected principal ma'am, Rohit sir and to all the viewers. I am Srishti Sharma from class 12C with my friends. You, uh, we, you all are aware that we are here today to celebrate International Day Against Drug Addiction. 26 June is marked as International Day Against Drug Addiction by United Nations to create mass awareness among the prevailing evils of drug addiction. Drugs, drugs, drugs. What are drugs? Drugs are chemical substances that affect your body, your mind. The prolonged use of drug may lead to physical and psychological dependence. An overdose of any drug may well lead to death. Types of drugs. There are different types of drugs which are categorized on the way they affect your body. Depressants. Slow down the function of the central nervous system. Hallucinogens. Affect your senses. Change the way you see, hear, taste, smell or feel things. Stimulants. Speed up the function of the central nervous system. Now, I want to hand over this to Arjun Patak. Thank you, Srishti, for cordially inviting me here. A very bright good morning to all of you. Myself, Arjun Patak from class 12C. And as you are already aware about what the biggest threat is it, teenagers are getting more vulnerable towards drug addiction. So the question arises, what does the adolescence literally means? It is a process during which a child becomes mature in terms of his or her attitudes and beliefs. The period between 12 to 18 years of age is considered as adolescence. And it is a very crucial phase of mental and psychological development of an individual. A child's natural curiosity motivates him or her to experiment. Thus, the first use of drugs may be out of curiosity, but later the child starts using these to escape out from uh, facing their problems. Now, have you ever, uh, Srishti, have you ever wondered that why do teens try drugs? Why? Maybe to feel cool, to feel different from others, overcoming their peer pressure, influencing from media or advertisement, and to overcome their boredom, maybe for their curiosity and to relieve stress. Ooh. Now, what's the role of society, the perception among youth? that it is a cool to use drugs is a major cause for you to start these habits. Television, movies, newspapers, internet also help to promote this perception. Other factors that have been associated with drugs among adolescents are their other supportive family structures and due to their peer pressure. The addictive potential of drugs pull the user in a vast circle leading to their regular use, which he or she may not be able to get out. In the absence of any guidance or counseling, the person gets addicted and becomes dependent on their use. And at last, they try to commit suicide. Now, I am going to hand over to Shubham Jindal, who will proceed further. Thank you, Aryan, for giving me this opportunity. I am Shubham Jindal. So, as now you are aware of the fact that these drugs have more influence on the adolescent. So, around 344 drugs have been banned all over the world. But the question arises, if these drugs are banned, then why the people are being taken these drugs? It is because very few people are aware about this banned drug. So unaware people consume them and causing a lot of damage to themselves. Also, there are many drug dealers who openly circulate drugs like a fair business, like interact tax. If I talk about India, the business for production of banned drugs is blooming because there are more consumers and also few provision for a proper checkup and control of superior drugs in Indian markets. Therefore, India has become a dumping ground for banned drugs. In order to stop drug circulation, many laws have been implemented by the government of India. One of them is the Drug Control Act 1950. This law allows the government of India to control the sales, supply and distribution of any drug in India. So for person involved in drug circulation and he or she is found out by the legal authorities, they will get rigorous imprisonment of 10 to 20 years and a fine from 1 lakh to 15 lakh rupees. Also, his property may be auctioned by the government. Now, I would I'm like to you uh, Thank you, Shubham. I am Aryan and now I am proceeding with the effect of drug. 
the immediate adverse effect of drug manifested in the form of reckless behavior and violence excessive dose of drug may lead to coma and death due to the respiratory failure and heart failure the most common warning signs of drug among youth includes drop in academic performances lack of interest in personal hygiene depression aggressive behavior uh, loss of interest in hobbies change in sleeping and eating habits etc the chronic use of drug damage the nervous system and liver some sports person misuse the narcotic steroids and certain hormones in sports to increase their muscle power uh, as a result increase athletic performance but in the end of the day their career will spoil the side effect of the use of anabolic steroid in the female increase aggressiveness mood swing depression abnormal menstrual cycle and deepening of voice and in males it includes acne increase aggressiveness mood swing Uh, depression, decreased sperm production, potential for kidney and liver disease function. Kids who being drinking before the age fifteen are four times more likely to become addicted. The people who start at age of twenty one. Teens who use cannabis may lose up to eight IQ points between the childhood and adult. Now I would like to invite Anushka to further proceed with the prevention of drug abuse. As we all heard that prevention is better than cure, stands true here also. But the question arises that how will we prevent ourselves from the drugs? The schools must provide the awareness program in the school to aware the students, and parental monitoring and supervision is also necessary. Avoid temptation and peer pressure, and and keep a well balanced life. It is observed that there are many reasons for using substances like affordability, accessibility, availability, fear of isolation, curiosity, and peer pressure. But it is seen that peer pressure is the most among the childrens, as so we should keep our peer good. Now, Mansi, will you tell some more other preventive measures? Yes, of course. It is also true that habits such as smoking, taking drugs, are more likely to be taken up at a young age, more during adolescence. Hence, it is best to identify the situation that may push an adolescent towards the use of drugs, and to take remedial measures well in time. In this regard, the parents and the teachers have a special responsibility. Parenting that combines with high levels of nurturance and consistent discipline has been associated with the lower risk of drug abuse. Some of the measures mentioned here would be particularly useful. We should avoid undue peer pressure. As we all know, every child has his or her own choice and personality, which should be respected and nurtured. A child should not be pushed unduly to perform beyond his or her threshold limits. Educating and counseling him or her to face problems and stresses, to accept the disappointments and failures as a part of life. It would also be worthwhile to channel channelize the child's energy into healthy pursuits like sports, reading, music, yoga, and other extracurricular activities. Help from parents and peers should be sought immediately so that they can guide appropriately. Help may even be sought from close friends and trust close and trusted friends. Alert parents and teachers need to look for and identify the danger signs discussed above. Even friends, if they find someone using drugs or should hesitate to bring his to the notice of parents or teacher in the best interest of the person concerned, this would help in initiating people proper remedial steps or treatment. Now you will be probably thinking what to do and what not to do. If you found someone as drug abusant. you must give up your information about him or her to his parents your elders guardian who can look for her because a friend is a need is a friend is a need never come under to an extended pressure so to, so that you start taking any of these substances whether the pressure is academical physical mental doesn't matter now now give your lifestyle a twist of yoga pranayam exercise so that your physical and mental capabilities can get an extent keep an eye on the vendors near your school that they should not be contaminating any of the drug in their food to grab a large amount of audience 
Now, as you come to that extent, I hope you all are totally, uh, totally aware that there is no substitute of healthy mind and willpower. This both will help you to uh, you to face all the challenges that come in your day to day life. Empower us to deal with the situation in our lives.